Good morning, everyone. It is time to visit with our friends from the Animal Rescue League of Iowa and find out about a couple of animals that need some forever homes, Jackie. Yeah. And they're not always dogs and cats. We tell you about that all the time. And first of all, William Wallace, want to ask if anybody's turned in a mountain lion uh, over the past, uh, what, 12 hours or so? N no mountain lions. No mountain lions. No okay. mountain lions. Just yep. curious about that. But you have something that's uh, not quite as big as a mountain lion. But uh, who did you bring along with you today? Yep, this is Ripley, and she is a chinchilla. Now, you always bring in really interesting animals, but you seem to have a real passion for chinchillas. Why is that? Well, I, I do like them quite a bit. Um, it used to be we didn't get them in all that often at the shelter, but we are starting to see their numbers uh, on the rise, whereas we maybe get one or two a year. You know, 10 years ago now, we tend to get in maybe a couple dozen. Seriously? Um, yep, yep. What do you think the reason for that is? Uh, just the popularity of them as pets? They're or? a little bit more popular. Um, you know, social media helps because sometimes we have those celebrity animals. There are some celebrity chinchillas, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so that certainly helps. They're also just a little bit more readily available like pet stores. So okay. um, just because they're more available, we tend to see more of them end up in the shelter. Okay, now tell us a little bit about the, uh, the feeding and caring of a chinchilla because it's not just like having a hamster. Right, it's a little bit different. Um, they do need a pretty large cage as they are going to be uh, primarily active kind of at, at night, um, especially around dawn and dusk. Um, they're very, very active and like to jump around. And they can make jumps that are six feet. So oh, you need wow. to have a large cage so they have plenty of room to kind of traverse and jump around. Now, do they use a wheel like a hamster does? Yeah, you can get them a wheel. You're just going to need to get kind of an extra large one because they like to just run and run and run all day long. And of course, they're a little bit larger than a hamster, so they just need something bigger to, to accommodate their larger bodies. Um, another cool thing about these guys is that you don't actually bathe them with water um, the way you would a lot of other critters. Their fur, because it's so dense, it doesn't dry if they get wet um, and it'll actually kind of mold down at the skin, so it's oh, not really? good for them. So instead, you get them like a, a fine powder, like a, a volcanic ash or something like that, and they'll roll around in that dust, and that's how they keep themselves clean. What kind of category would you put a chinchilla? Like, you know, it seems like part rat, rabbit. The, a whole kind of different concoction of things. Um, so they are rodents, so they're going to be related to like the hamsters, gerbils, mice, okay. rats. Um, as far as the small critters that are common as pets, they're probably most closely related to uh, gerbils. Okay. okay. Yeah, like a like a big gerbil. They're like a yeah, really big gerbil. Really yep. big gerbil. Yeah, really neat. But it sounds like you have more than one. You said they're getting more and more popular, and now the rescue league at your location has more than one chinchilla. Yep, we tend to get in a couple of these guys. Right now, we've got a couple that are going to be up for adoption here today. Um, this particular one already does have a pending, so she may end up being adopted here okay. before the end of the day. Okay. Uh, but the other one's still available for meeting right now. All right, and the location for the chinchillas is what? Uh, it's going to be our Southridge Mall location mm -hmm. down the south side. Um, and then kind of uh, along with some of the animals being up for adoption, like these guys, we do have an adoption promotion that doesn't actually apply to the small animals, but for our cats and our dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, starting today and running through Sunday, we do have a Name Your Price adoption event. All right. Uh, so that's going to be dogs of all ages and then cats uh, six months and older. Cool. Now, speaking of cats, we do have a kitty cat that we are we looking do. for a home for. Yep. So uh, today we have Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty. Yep. Kitty. And she is about 13 years old. Uh, she is a declawed cat. Um, she is one that's definitely going to be more of like a lap cat. Um, she likes to come up and just sit on your lap and get pettings. She will play uh, with toys, but she likes to play with toys more if uh, up humans on the other end of it. Um, now she is looking for a little bit more mature homes, so either uh, kids that are a little bit more uh, mature and kind of um, calm, mm -hmm. quieter, or just maybe a, a home with only adults would okay. probably be best for her. Now yeah. we also want to talk about a horsemanship clinic that's coming up. Yes, we have our Kelly Paulson uh, horsemanship clinic on Saturday the 18th. Um, we do still have some spots available for registering for that on our website. Okay. Uh, but it's going to run from 9 to 4 at the uh, arena up at our main location. Um, and then there's also going to be kind of a follow-up uh, trailer uh, course the next day that we encourage people that sign up for the, the horsemanship clinic to maybe attend that as well. And that same day, we also have a, uh, a Pedal for Paws uh, bike ride. Now explain what Pedal for Paws is all about. Right, so that is a, uh, another fundraiser um, for the Animal Rescue League and all of our homeless animals, of course. Uh, but basically, it's one where we'll start at one particular bar in Des Moines. Like Captain Roy's? Yep, we're going to start there. And then uh, there's about five other bars that we'll go to and just uh, kind of cycle on through and it's a big moving party basically. There you go. Like, well, Captain Roy's Mullet's Confluence Brewing Company, Jasper Winery, and then you end up at Sully's, Jackie. Perfect. You can't, you can't beat that. It, it, it's nope. a very popular activity and hopefully it look, the temperatures next week look fabulous where people can come together, grab their bike, but have some nice pit stops along the way. And I'm sure exactly. while you're stopping, you're going to be educating them about the great work of the Animal Rescue League and adoptions and things like that. Yep, that is the plan. Sometimes we have some guests come out, you know, some, some dogs maybe that can get some attention and, and show off what we've got. Now, speaking of showing off what you got, I want to talk a little bit more about your location, the South Side location over at Southridge Mall. And you are the small and exotic animal coordinator down 
down there, and you have the chinchillas, which are a little unusual. What other unusual animals do you get in there on a regular basis? Um, so that location is where you're going to have like the birds that come into us. And so. what kind of birds are you talking about? Uh, so most commonly it's things like pigeons and parakeets and whatnot, but sometimes we get larger parrots, so you know macaws, cockatoos, things like that. Hello. Um, <laughs> some of those coming in, we will get our reptiles, so turtles, bearded dragons, uh, leopard geckos, things like that are pretty common. Um, then ferrets, uh, of course, you mentioned you know, chichillas, um, sugar gliders sometimes, mm -hmm. and then guinea pigs, rabbits, things like that. Right. It's been a very successful location for you, hasn't it? Uh, it has been, yep. yep. Uh, it's been nice being able to have a centralized hub for all the you know, non-cats or dogs or, or horses, of course. Right. Um, so what, people can go in and see kind of everything we have in one spot. Love yeah. it. Okay, so uh, remind us again who you brought in and an opportunity to maybe find a forever friend yep. here today. This is Ripley. Ripley, and, how uh, cool is that? <laughs> yep, and she'll be down at our Southridge Mall location. All right, and you, there is another one too. There's another chinchilla yep, available. There's another one, yep. So if you're interested in a chinchilla, head on down to the south side to uh, Southridge Mall for the Animal Rescue League location there. Of course, plenty of locations throughout the city too, aren't there? Certainly, yep. Okay, well, what are those locations? Uh, at our uh, West Des Moines location, which is on 22nd Street, uh, we will have some cats and some dogs usually, and also some rabbits sometimes. Um, and then, of course, our main location up on Northeast 22nd Street on the north side of town. That works. Perfect. William, thank you so much. Thank you, Ripley. Appreciate it. You did a good job, young man. Appreciate that. All right, folks. So hopefully get Ripley a home and get the other one a home too here before the day is over.